Swing it, swing it, don't make it straight. Swing it. Da 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 na, da 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 da. This is an incredible learning opportunity to hear some great advice, you know, from the horse's mouth. This is the composer of this chart. He wrote this thing, so we need to take every single thing that he says is liquid gold, whether it's to the saxes or to the trumpets, you're listening to it. There's something you can learn from it. My name is Kevin Larson. I am the director of Band Highland Ranch High School. Today we had a jazz ensemble rehearsal for our upcoming concert for our winter showcase. And uh, we were very fortunate to uh, pick a chart that we're performing for that concert uh, by a composer named Rick Hirsch, saying that uh, he'd love to do a Skype rehearsal with the group. Hello. It's really cool that we had the opportunity to use technology in our rehearsal and we were able to actually talk with somebody that wrote the music. It was a cool way to prepare for the concert next week. What was different was getting more feedback and thinking of what the composer had in mind and what he thought about. To the young woman doing the tenor solo, that had a nice feeling to it. Do you like the, the E minor pentatonic? Is what you see in the favor, it lays really nicely on tenor. The way that chord progression on your solo works. Can you hear that? Yeah. So yeah. It was a bit more pressure to play well and try to impress him because I didn't think he'd be that impressed with us, to be completely honest, playing his piece, but he was, so that was good. Now, the big thing that this leads up to for me as a teacher is leading past the concert. What, what are the kids going to be able to learn from this experience besides just performing next week? Um, being able to understand that what they see on the page is generally more of a guide than a strict instruction. If you don't play it exactly how it's written, it might actually sound better. I think they're doing a great job of that already. <laughs> it was pretty cool when he told us that we could kind of play what was different than written on the page. We could mix up the rhythm a little bit as long as it stayed in time because we got to actually know what his intentions were when writing that music. And it was cool that we were able to kind of make a variant of what he wrote and that it was okay to do that, to play it differently. I enjoy every second of it. I just love the band program here. And hopefully I'll love it this much and more in college. So I'm really excited to keep going on with this. I really enjoyed today's session. It was a lot of fun. We're actually talking to Mr. Larson about doing another Rick Hirsch chart so we can have another video conference with him. You guys, super job. It was really nice to meet you. Say thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Till yeah, next time. Bye.